kids, welcome to Tiger Vision News. I'm Shelby, and this is my co-host, Tista. Thanks for joining us today. <laughs> Theater is having an open audition for student-directed play. If you'd like to be in the play, now is your chance to sign up. Here's more on the story. I'm Austin here with... Mrs. Carter. Tell us about the auditions for the upcoming play. I am so excited about this. This is my dance kiddos, um, and they're doing a student direct. Um, the auditions will be this Tuesday, um, and they're just right after school in my room. It's room 105. Um, you're going to come and bring one of these, this is a little audition packet, and then on it, on the back are two monologues. You may use that monologue or you can pick your own and you don't even have to memorize it. You just come in and act out your monologue and then you're done. And as soon as you say your monologue, you're free to leave. Why are you excited about the upcoming auditions? Because I like to get into character. Because I might get a good role. Being in front of people. Thank you. Thanks for that interview. Some other interesting news is that the members of the FMS band are going to UIL this week. So let's go check in with Ms. Bearden and Mr. Ashcraft to find out more. Hi, I'm Shelby here with Mr. Ashcraft and Ms. Bearden. When and where is the upcoming UIL contest? The UIL contest is going to be Wednesday and Thursday at Coronado High School. How long have the students been preparing for the event? Uh, since December and January. We got our march in December and then we've been preparing on the other two tunes each band has since January. What do the students do to compete? Um, both of our bands are required to play three songs. They get to pick a march, and then the other two pieces, they have to pick off of a list that the state provides. And the non-varsity play band plays a certain grade level of music that fits how long they've been playing. The varsity band plays a level harder. Okay, um, there's two, par okay, two parts to the contest. The first part is concert. So we go play our prepared music. Uh, people are in the audience, and judges are listening to us. They're judging us on a whole list of criteria, kind of like the star test for band and then after we get done with our concert we go to another room and we do sight reading they have seven minutes to study a piece and they cannot play a single sound they just listen and they finger through and then we play the piece for some new judges so they're really testing the kids musical skills to see what they have learned and what they can do on their own so we go on Wednesday and Thursday and we hope our kids will have a lot of success the big fair is all this week Choir Clinic have pre UIL on Thursday from 3:45 to 5 in the choir room. They're going to practice for our, their upcoming UIL competition. The last prep cheer practice is on Thursday. There will be mock tryouts. The real tryouts are on Friday the 10th. Good luck to all the ladies trying out. Next week is spring break. Finally, make plans to get some extra sleep and do something fun. Now let's check in with Tippy and see what's in our weather. Hi, I'm Landon with your current conditions. Partly cloudy, 59 degrees, wind southwest 10 miles per hour, and 0% chance of rain. Here's a look at tonight's regional forecast. No rain in our area. Warm temperatures the next few days, a little chance of rain. I'm landing with the weather. Back to you. Thanks, Debbie. Now let's check in with the sports. Hello, FMS sports fans. I'm M Star, and this is Jesse. And here's a look at today's sports. Member of the tennis A teams play Heritage today. The match is here at FHS and will start at 4 o'clock. Do your best, Tigers. The next track meet isn't until after spring break. This one will be on the th on Thursday, March 23rd. The boys will be here while the girls are at Estacado High. Good luck, Tigers. That's all we have for sports. That's all we have for today. Thanks for watching Tiger Vision News. Until then, Tigers. Bye. Bye.